Hello and welcome to Mastermind with me, Clive Myrie. In the spotlight tonight are Simon Durrant, a retired English teacher. His specialist subject is Offers Dyke Path. Pippa Smith, an executive officer. Her subject, the life and works of the American composer John Cage. George Scratchett, an insight analyst. He'll be answering questions on the wines of Portugal. And Katie Williams, a civil servant whose subject is the BBC sitcom Only Fools and Horses. <laughs> These days, it seems, doesn't it, like everyone's an expert and there are a myriad of ways in the modern age to make your voice heard. But only a few, a happy few, an exclusive band of brothers and sisters can say they displayed their knowledge on the nation's most prestigious quiz. Tonight, four more contenders will engage in intellectual combat for a place in the Mastermind semi-finals and ultimately the chance to win this magnificent glass bowl. Two minutes on a specialist subject and two and a half minutes on general knowledge will decide. So, can I ask our first contender to join us, please? Your name? Simon Durrant. Your occupation? A retired English teacher. And your specialist subject? Offers Dyke Path. The 177-mile-long walking trail named after the spectacular landmark built in the 8th century to divide King Offa's Mercia from the Welsh kingdoms. In two minutes, starting now, one of the most popular destinations on the route of Offa's Dyke Path is which town known for its bookshops and annual literary festival? Hey on why? Yes, the viewpoint at Devil's Pulpit overlooks what ruined Cistercian Abbey on the west bank of the River Wye. Tint, uh, Tintin. Yes, the highest point above sea level on the path at 2,300 feet is on which mountain ridge between Pandy and Hay on Wye? Hatterall. Yes, the Grade One listed St Mary's Church in Kington contains the effigies of the local landowner, Sir Thomas Vaughan, and his wife, who was nicknamed the Terrible. What was her first name? Ellen. Yes, path walkers may take an alternative route over the top of which aqueduct that carries the Clangollan Canal high above the River Dee and was constructed from 1795 to a design by Thomas Telford. Pontus Gifter. Yes, as a young man, the poet Gerard Manley Hopkins studied at Watt Theological College, which later became a spiritual retreat located just before a footbridge takes the path over the A55. St. Bi St. Binos. Yes, what's the name of the highest point in the Cluidian Hills where a Jubilee Tower was constructed in 1810 to commemorate George III's 50th year on the throne? Moyle Vamoy. Yes, which town has the Welsh name Trevor Clouth, which translates as the town on the dyke? Um, pass. What was the name of the 19th century curate of St Michael's Church in the village of Clyro, just over a mile from the root of the path, who kept copious diaries detailing life in the local area, which were published posthumously in 1938? Kilvert. Yes. What's the name of the house with prominent Gothic features, which, from 1780, was the home of Lady Eleanor Butler and Sarah Ponsonby, an unconventional couple popularly known as the Ladies of Llangollen? Uh, Plas Newith. Yes, the path runs near to Watt Community Hospital near Abergavenny, where Rudolf Hess was held captive for three years between his 1942 flight to the UK and the Nuremberg trials. Pass. The tiny church of St Mary the Virgin, described by Francis Kilvert as squatting like a stout grey owl among its seven great black ewes, was built in 1762. In which small village in the Vale of Ewers? Uh, pass. The answer to that is Caplifin. Yes. And you had two other passes, the hospital near Abergavenny, where Rudolf Hess was held captive for three years, its Mainliff Court. And the town, which has the Welsh name Trevor Clouth, which translates as the town on the dyke, it's Knighton. So, at the end of that, Simon, you've got nine points. <laughs> And our next contender, please. Your name? Pippa Smith. Your occupation? Executive officer. And your specialist subject? The life and works of John Cage. The music theorist and avant-garde pioneer recognised as one of the most influential composers of the 20th century. In two minutes, let's go. When Cage was born in 1912, his parents gave him what middle name? Milton. Yes, what was the name of the artist whom Cage married in 1935, a union that ended ten years later after Cage and his creative partner Merce Cunningham became lovers? 
Dina Kosheverov. Yes, what's the title of the piece, premiered in April 1940, which was Cage's first work for his so-called prepared piano, an instrument he'd invented by inserting objects such as screws and bolts between the strings of a grand piano? Bacchanal. Yes, which painter whom Cage first met in the 1950s once declared of the composer that no one could empty a concert hall faster than him? Reportedly adding, I mean that as a compliment. That's what I call good music. Robert Rauschenberg? Yes. Cage's piece, 4 minutes 33 seconds, first performed at Woodstock in 1952, comprises how many movements? 16. No, three. Which of his works, whose props included a mechanical fish, a quail call and a rubber duck, did Cage perform himself on the American game show I've Got a Secret in 1960? Water walk. Yes, during the 1950s and 60s, Cage made regular visits to the Greenwich Village home of which French-born artist who taught him to play chess? Marcel Duchamp. Yes, in 1969, Cage composed a simplified version of Eric Satie's symphonic drama Socrat, but when permission was denied for copyright reasons, he rescored the piece with different notes and gave it what title? Cheap imitation. Yes, Cage's 1982 piece entitled Postcard from Heaven, performed to mark his 70th birthday, was composed for what musical instrument? Cello. No, Harp. Cage died in 1992 when his ashes were scattered in which small town, the location of an artist colony he'd helped to found in the 1950s? Stony Point. Yes. What was the title of the live telecast broadcast internationally on the 1st of January 1984, during which Cage played electrified plants with a feather, while the German artist Josef Beuys crawled around under a pair of grand pianos wearing a fedora? Good morning, Mr. Orwell. Yes, which Native American singer was one of the four solo vocalists in Cage's celebration of the American bicentennial Renga with Apartment House, 1776? Swift Eagle. It was Swift Eagle. And Pippa, you had no passes, and at the end of that round, you've got 10 points. <laughs> And our next contender, please. Your name? George Scratchard. Your occupation? Insight analyst. And your specialist subject? The wines of Portugal. Yeah, the history and evolution of winemaking in Portugal. In two minutes, let's go. What well-known, slightly sparkling rosé sold in a flask-shaped bottle was created by Fernando Van Zella Guedes in 1942? Mateus. Yes. What word, meaning farm or country house, is widely used in Portugal for a single wine-producing estate or a specific vineyard, such as those of Crashtu, de la Rosa and Noval? Quinta. Yes. Which large wine region in southern Portugal, whose name literally means beyond the Tagus, is also the centre of the country's cork industry? Alentejo. Yes. What Spanish name is commonly used in English for the red grape variety known in certain regions of Portugal as Tinta Rorish or Aragonese? Tempranillo. Yes. What's the name of the hotel near Luso, built as a royal palace in the 1880s, which produces unusual wines from vineyards in the Dao and the Bairada regions? Busaco Palace yes. Hotel. Yes. In 2012, who became the first woman to win Portugal's Revista de Venus Winemaker of the Year Award? Susana Esteban. Yes. What's the common name on Madeira for the grape variety that's sometimes known as Ajgana cow, meaning dog strangler, thought to be because of its high level of acidity? Cecial. Yes. Which British singer planted a vineyard in his Quinta do Moenio estate in the Algarve that was the genesis of the Vida Nova range of wines? Cliff Richard. Yes. What renowned high-quality red wine produced at the Catusha estate has a name that's said to be derived from a term for gaping stone or limp stone in reference to the loose grape granite stones of the area. Paramanca? Yes. In 1756, which Portuguese Prime Minister created an area within the Alto Douro region to protect the authenticity of port? The Marques de Pombal. Yes. The Spanish Menthia grape is thought to have been brought by pilgrims from Santiago de Compostela to the Portuguese Dao region, where it's known primarily by what other name? Cheyenne. Yes. What's the name of the family-owned business established in the 19th century that acquired the port brands Coburn's, Dow's, Graham's and Wall's and also produces various single-estate red wines in the Douro region? Symington. It is Symington. And George, you had no passes and at the end of that round, you've got 12 points. And our final contender, please.
Your name? Katie Williams. Your occupation? Civil servant. And your specialist subjects? Only Fools and Horses. Yeah, the television sitcom written by John Sullivan about Dell and Rodney Trotter. In two minutes. Let's go. Uncle Albert moves in with the Trotter family at their flat in Nelson Mandela House after the death of Grandad, who'd been played by which veteran actor? Leonard Pierce. Yes. What's the title of the Christmas special in which the Trotters and their friends visit Margate on a coach that explodes because it's been equipped with one of Dell's faulty car radios? The Jolly Boys out in. Yes, in A Touch of Glass. What's the last name of the Lord and Lady to whom Dell tries to sell a China cat ornament that plays the tune How Much Is That Doggy in the Window? Parson. When Rodney receives a film grant in the episode Video Nasty, Dell has an idea for a disaster movie involving what creature escaping from a zoo and roaming loose in the city? Rhinoceros. Yes, during Elsie Partridge's seance in Sickness and Wealth, the snooty second-hand car dealer Boise says that he has what middle name? Aubrey. Yes, which actress plays Cassandra's haughty mother, Pamela, who is dismayed by the combination of champagne, whelks and jelly deals at Cassandra and Rodney's wedding reception at the Nags Head pub? Pass. Dell successfully enters a painting of Rodney's into an art competition for under-15s. According to the painting's title, what famous London landmark is depicted at dawn? Marble Arch. Yes, in the chance of a lunchtime while trying to sell doorbells that play various national anthems, Dell helps his partner Raquel to learn her lines for an audition to star in a production of which Shakespeare play? As you like it. Yes, what's the name of the councillor who presents the road sweeper trigger with a medal for using the same broom for 20 years, not realising that during that time it's had 70 new heads and 40 new handles. Councillor Murray. Yes, in If They Could See Us Now, Dell appears on what fictional game show hosted by Jonathan Ross in the hope of winning a monetary prize? Gold Rush. Yes, while trying to impress two women in a nightclub in the episode Go West, Young Man, Dell tries to convince them that Rodney is an international tennis player who beat Jimmy Connolly in which tournament? Wimbledon. No, it's Miami Open. In May, the force be with you. The police inspector, Roy Slater, a hated former schoolmate of Dell's, arrives in Peckham tasked with tracking down what appliance that has been stolen from Lewisham Grove. Microwave oven. It is a microwave. Katie, you had just the two passes. The actress who plays Cassandra's haughty mother, Pamela Wanda Ventham. And uh, in a touch of glass, what's the last name of the Lord and Lady to whom Dell tries to sell a China cat ornament? Ridgemere. And at the end of that round, Katie, you've got nine points. Thank you. And at the end of the specialist subjects round, let's have a look at the scores. In joint third place, with nine points each, it's Simon and Katie. In second place, with ten points, it's Pippa. And in first place, with 12 points, it's George. So now, the general knowledge round. And if there's a tie at the end, then the number of passes is taken into account and the person with the fewer passes is the winner. And if they're tied on passes as well, it's a tie break. So let's ask Simon to join us again, please. So Simon, you start with nine points. You've got two and a half minutes on general knowledge. Let's go. Which German philosopher and economist wrote the 19th century political text Das Kapital? Karl Marx. Yes. What Spanish rice dish said to have originated in Valencia and made with various meats and seafood is named after the large pan in which it's cooked? Paella. Yes. In February 2022, Dr. Dre, Kendrick Lamar, Eminem, Mary J. Blige and Snoop Dogg were joint headliners at the halftime show of which annual American sporting event? The Super Bowl. Yes. Ashfield, Channings Wood and Gartree are names of what type of institution in the UK? Um... Mental hospitals. No, prison. Money Never Sleeps is the subtitle of the 2010 sequel to what 1987 film starring Michael Douglas? Um, Wall Street. Yes. Which children's author and illustrator who died in 2022 created the characters Mr. Ben and Elmer the Patchwork Elephant? Um, Tony Ross. No, David McKee. The title of what long-running American television drama series set in a hospital in Seattle and first broadcast in 2005 is a reference to a medical textbook first published in 1858? Grey's Anatomy. Yes. According to legend, which courtier of Dionysius of Syracuse is said to have been seated at a banquet with a sword suspended over his head by a single strand of horsehair? Uh, pass. 
What was the surname of the Danish navigator who explored parts of Siberia in the 18th century and has a sea and a strait near the northern Pacific Ocean named after him? Baron. No, the Bering Sea. In 1992, which politician became the first woman to be elected Speaker of the House of Commons? Um, pass. What adjective derived from the Latin name for the Phoenicians is used in the names of three wars fought between Rome and Carthage in the 2nd and 3rd centuries BC? Punic. Yes. Pyrophobia is defined as the fear of what? Fire. Yes. What illness spread through saliva and common in young adults is sometimes known informally as the kissing disease? Um, pass. At the 1972 Munich Olympics, which American swimmer won seven gold medals all in world record times? Mark Spitz? Yes, an annual New Year concert first held in 1939 and featuring the works of the Strauss family and their contemporaries is performed by the Philharmonic Orchestra of which city? Vienna. Yes, what name is usually given to the process by which a child or other young mammal becomes accustomed to food other than its mother's milk? Weenie. Yes, what was the surname of the celebrated landscape painter born in London in 1775? I've started to all finish. Born in London in 1775 and given the four names Joseph Mallord William. Turner. It is. J.M.W. Turner. Sam, and you had three passes. The illness spread through saliva and common in young adults, sometimes informally known as the kissing disease, glandular fever. Betty Boothroyd, first woman yes. to be elected Speaker of the House of Commons. And it's the sword of Damocles, of course. So, at the end of that round, Simon, you've got 20 points. <laughs> Next up, it's Katie. Katie, you start with nine points. The score to beat as it stands is 20 points. You've got two and a half minutes on general knowledge. Let's go. Which city is the capital of Russia? Moscow. Yes, the medical condition, lateral epicondylitis, caused by repetitive movement of the arm, is commonly known as tennis what? Elbow. Yes, in 2022, which Australian-born singer and actress won the third series of the television contest The Masked Singer, dressed as a character called Panda? Natalie Imbruglia. Yes, what was the name of the pilot of the Apollo 11 command module Columbia, which remained in lunar orbit while Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin landed on the moon in 1969? Pass. The Royal National Institution for the Preservation of Life from Shipwreck was founded in 1824, but is better known today by what four-letter abbreviation? Pass. What precious gemstone is a red-coloured variety of the mineral corundum? Ruby? Yes. Which British actress received Oscar nominations for her roles in the 2005 adaptation of Pride and Prejudice and the 2014 film The Imitation Game? Keira Knightley. Yes. What's the title of the best-selling 1902 book by Owen Wister, subtitled A Horseman of the Plains, that's sometimes described as the first great Western novel and is dedicated to Theodore Roosevelt? Pass. In imperial measurements of weight, a stone is equal to how many pounds? 14. Yes. What's the professional name of the American rapper born Sean Corey Carter in New York in 1969, whose UK hit singles include Hard Knock Life and 99 Problems? Jay-Z. Yes. What's the name of the Northern Irish politician who succeeded Edwin Poots as the leader of the Democratic Unionist Party in June 2021? Pass. Marrow fat and sugar snap are varieties of what vegetable? Pea. Yes. What's the name of the new railway line built by Crossrail and opened in May 2022, extending from Reading and Heathrow Airport at its western end to Shenfield and Abbey Wood, east of London? Jubilee. No, the Elizabeth Line. Which British golfer won his first major title with victory in the 2022 US Open? Justin Rose. No, Matt Fitzpatrick. International Women's Day is observed annually on the 8th of which month? June? No, March. What's the common name of the bird that's the subject of a 1654 painting by the Dutch artist Carol Fabricius? Eagle? No, Goldfinch, the opera Don Carlo, first performed in 1867 about a Spanish prince who falls in love with a French princess, was written by which Italian composer? Pass. The yuan, sometimes referred to as the renminbi, is the basic unit of currency of which Asian country? China. It is. China. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Katie had five passes. Don Carlo was written by Verdi. Jeffrey Donaldson uh, was the man who succeeded Edwin Poots as leader of the DUP. 
Um, the Virginian is the title of the best-selling 1902 book by Owen Wister. The RNLI, Royal National Institution for the Preservation of Life from Shipwreck. And Michael Collins was the pilot of the Apollo 11 command module. And at the end of that round, Katie, you've got 18 points. Thank you. Next up is Pippa. Pippa, you start with 10 points to score to beat as it stands. It's 20 points. You've got two and a half minutes on general knowledge. Here we go. Which common small British songbird is often referred to by the epithet redbreast? Robin. Yes. What long-running BBC television series about cars and motoring was first shown in 1977 when it was presented by Angela Rippon and Tom Coyne? Top Gear. Yes. What's the usual English translation of the Italian term la dolce vita used to describe an existence filled with luxury and pleasure? The good life? No, the sweet life. What name derived from a Sanskrit word meaning sprinkle is given to a type of clarified butter commonly used in South Asian cuisine? Ghee? Yes. What's the name of the Roman goddess of hunting who is the counterpart of Artemis in Greek mythology? Diana. Yes. What's the title of the 2022 animated film about a 13-year-old Chinese-Canadian schoolgirl named Mei Li who transforms into a giant wild animal when she feels strong emotions? Turning red? Yes. What's the name of the electoral system, often abbreviated to the letters PR, in which parties win seats relative to the number of votes cast for them? Proportional representation? Yes. Which British performance poet, whose works include Beasley Street and I Wanna Be Yours, is nicknamed the Bard of Salford? John Cooper Clark? Yes. What word for a state of disorder and confusion is used in the name of the mathematical theory developed by the American meteorologist Edward Lorenz that supply to complex systems that are sensitive to change? Chaos? Yes. In July 2021, Patrick Vieira succeeded Roy Hodgson as the manager of which English Premier League football club? Crystal Palace. Yes. The name of which historic city in Mali on the edge of the Sahara Desert has become a metaphor for any faraway location? Timbuktu. Yes, what term from the Greek for to give against is applied to a medicine taken to neutralise the effects of a poison and can refer generally to something that counteracts an unpleasant feeling? Antidote. Yes, the final full public concert by the Beatles was staged in August 1966 at what stadium in San Francisco, which was demolished in 2015? Coliseum? No, Candlestick Park, the officer training establishment. The Britannia Royal Naval College is in which town in Devon? Uh, Torquay. No, Dartmouth. In currency trading, the word forex, often abbreviated to the letters FX, is short for what two-word term? Foreign exchange. Yes, Hastings Pier, Liverpool's Everyman Theatre and the Scottish Parliament Building in Edinburgh are all 21st century winners of what prestigious annual prize for architecture? Sterling Prize. Yes, what plastic material patented by Edwin Land in 1929 aligns light waves in one direction and is commonly used in sunglasses and photography? Polaroid? Yes, the Australian operatic soprano born Helen Porter Mitchell in 1861, I've studied it all finish, was better known by what stage name derived from the name of her home city? Nellie Melba. Yes. Pippa, you had no passes, and at the end of that round, you've got 25 points. <laughs> and finally, let's have George again, please. So, George, you start with 12 points. The score to beat to get through to the semi-finals is Pippa's 25 points. You've got two and a half minutes on general knowledge. Let's go. What name is usually given to a book which is a collection of maps in a single volume? Atlas. Yes, in German words such as schön, meaning beautiful. What's the name of the mark consisting of two dots placed over a vowel to indicate that it should be pronounced differently? Umlaut. Yes, which paper size is half the size of A1? A2. Yes, in what 1961 film does Paul Newman first star as the pool player Fast Eddie Felsen as he challenges the champion Minnesota Fats, played by Jackie Gleason? The Hustler. Yes, what's the term from the Greek for refuge, for immunity from extradition, granted to a political refugee? Pass. What's the name of the annual music and arts festival first held in 1999, hosted by the Empire Polo Club in Indio, California? 
Coachella? Yes. Low-density lipoprotein, often abbreviated to LDL, is a form of what fatty substance in the blood that's produced in the liver and, at high levels, can cause blocked veins and arteries and lead to circulatory problems. Cholesterol. Yes, in the television drama series Mayor of East Town, first broadcast in 2021. The lead role is played by which Oscar-winning British actress? Kate Winslet. Yes. Which American author wrote the semi-autobiographical 1934 novel Tropic of Cancer? Henry Miller. Yes, the tourist resort of Cancun and the Mayan ruins of Chichen Itza are on which Mexican peninsula? Yucatan. Yes, which military leader served as UK Prime Minister from 1828 to 1830 and again in an interim capacity for a short time in 1834? The Duke of Wellington. Yes, in metric measurements for a cube with a volume of one litre each edge is how many centimetres in length? Uh, ten. Yes. What's the word from the Latin for payment for a sum of money paid regularly by the state or former employer to a person who is over retirement age? Pension. Yes. The International Airport on the outskirts of Warsaw in Poland is named after which 19th century composer and pianist who grew up in the city? Dvořák. No. Friedrich Chopin. In sports such as ice hockey and rugby league, what's the rhyming name for the penalty box where players who have committed a serious foul can be sent for a specified period of time during a game? Sinbin. Yes. What's the name of the village on the Wirral which was built at the end of the 19th century by William Lever to provide accommodation for the workers at his soap factory? Pass. Which notorious Chicago gangster was given the nickname Scarface following injuries sustained in a barroom fight in New York in 1917? Al Capone? Yes, Royal Sovereign, Calypso and El Santa are varieties of which soft fruit? Mango? No, Strawberry, what stage play written by Laura Wayne and first performed? I've started to all finish. First performed in 2010, focuses on an elite dining club whose members are students at Oxford University and was adapted into the 2014 film The Riot Club. Bullington? No, posh. And George, you had two passes. The name of the village on the Wirral, built at the end of the 19th century by William Lever, Port Sunlight. The term from the Greek word refuge for immunity from extradition, asylum. Oh, yeah. And at the end of that round, George, you've done it. You've got 26 points. Thank you. <laughs> A high-scoring, tight game. Let's have a look at the final scores. In fourth place with 18 points, it's Katie. In third place with 20 points, it's Simon. In second place with 25 points, it's Pippa. And in first place, one extra point ahead, George with 26, which means he goes through to the semi-finals. Congratulations to him. If you would like to be a contender in the next series, please go to our website, bbc.co.uk slash mastermind, and you can follow us, as ever, at Mastermind Quiz. Join us again next time for more Masterminds. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. My special subject was the wines of Portugal. I really think that it's one of the most fascinating wine producing countries in the world these days. It's moved on a lot since the uh, wines people might remember from the 70s. Tempranillo. Yes. Paramanca. Yes. Cheyenne. Yes. I ran the Wine Tasting Society when I was at university, and I'm still friends with a lot of those people. They helped me prepare for this, and I'm sure they'll be so pleased to have seen me do so well. George with 26, which means he goes through to the semi-finals. Congratulations to him. I might go home and celebrate with a nice glass of Portuguese wine tonight.